Um, our next and last speakers this evening um, are uh, going to kick off a participatory um, art installation that all of you in this room can and should participate in with your mobile devices. Um, they're going to be performing in Nepal, you know, Mark Marino and Rob Whitting and pioneering this form. Uh, and have, in fact, I think a special issue of Hyper is coming out on this very subject. They have experimented in many different platforms, primarily Twitter, but also Tumblr and, uh, and, other, and other things as well. So tonight they are going to be presenting the mission statements. Mark Marino and Rob Whitting. Share the, our, our commitment to the overall goals of uh, Smelly Dog International. We also and we're using the word goals loosely here. Uh, are uh, um, <laughs> obliged in a very similar way to be here. Your reward at the end of this uh, evening of work is that you uh, keep your job. Keep your job. <laughs> and uh, our reward, if we successfully manage to write a mission statement and a vision statement in the next 20, uh, 25 minutes, a big uh, is, at the double tree. is that we uh, get paid. Uh, so, I'd like to just summarize some, some things that you already know, uh, but just to kind of put it in perspective, it has not been a good year for the uh, domestic pet odor engagement uh, industry as a whole. And so this is in no way, and I want you to realize that, that for us as outsiders, coming into the situation, we don't hold you personally to blame. We hold your uh, entire company to blame. It's, uh, there is sort of responsibility to be born, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, I think our mission tonight is to is uh, in part to share that that uh, burden equally. Um, just to kind of frame things up, uh, originally this process that uh, we uh, have done this process for many years, and we're on kind of a nice road trip. This is uh, stop 16 out of 17. Uh, of uh, helping organizations uh, refine their purpose. And uh, our process is a proprietary process that centers around a, uh, a piece of collaborative uh, creativity that we call brainstorming. It's like brainstorming, it's just a little bit more intense. And, uh, <laughs> it's a proprietary thing that we came up with ourselves. It's from a German celebration. And uh, the, uh, the, the brainstorming process is going to allow us together to arrive at a goal and a mission and a vision uh, that we can all subscribe to for, well, I think the next shareholder meeting is in about two weeks. So for two, it'll hold us for, for two weeks and, and hopefully, hopefully longer. Uh, to get us in the mood, if we're ready, Bob, yeah, we're uh, ready. I'd like to give you a little bit of inspiration just to get those creative juices flowing. Then we'll get you up on your machines and we're going to start to write together. Yeah, this is largely generated randomly from things related to your recent suggestions and, and also not from those things. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bob, can, is it shareable? Bob, it's not shareable. I don't have right. You can call some of these things out too. What type of end, possibly, or not? Yeah, Bob, you got to make it shareable to everybody, Bob. I think. Well, first he's going to make it shareable to everybody. You need to share. You got the second Now you can. Yeah, now he's going to say. Now the only person who's not allowed to change this is Nick because he doesn't use it. Not that he's. Okay, did you get in? In the meantime, call, call, uh, we can call out. Brainstorming words. What kind of animal are you? That is a corporation. Quick, you can call them out. Oh, oh, them. Right. Giraffe. Muskrat. Okay. Muskrat. Hedgehog. Naked mole rat. Warthog. Warthog, there we go. So, <laughs> I think of Smelly Dog International as a warthog. Uh, not that I know a tremendous amount about warthogs, uh, but let's let's uh, let's drill down into that warthog. First. Let's let's spread out some plastic and put on our gloves and drill into that warthog here for a second. <laughs> and and what are the characteristics? What do we know about about the warthog? What do we what do we imagine when it's like snuffling around the jungle or the desert or whatever the <laughs> where where are warthogs from? Where do um, uh, Alaska. What? Sub Alaska. Sub-Saharan Africa. So, so, so jungle. There we go. Um, okay, we've got the tired of sleepy warthog now. Yes. And that really does, uh, according to your uh, managers, uh, represent the state of the company right now, that uh, the sleepy warthog. But let's think for a second about how we're going to get that warthog to perk up. How are we going to get that warthog to come on and get out there? And, <laughs> oh, we have some submarines. There we go. I like how you're thinking. I'm really enjoying this. So, if we're, if we need to, we need to submerge ourselves under the competition, and we've got the warthog and the submarine and stuff. So, you know your industry better than than we do, certainly. I, you know, I'm thinking of um, uh, odiferous cat. Uh, which is the obvious, the obvious one that everybody knows. There's a few other minor competitors, but when you, when you characterize the competitors, what kind? If, if we're a warthog, what kind of animal are are your competitors? What do you think? Just write it in there. Write it in. Polecat. 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 Okay. So, so we're our warthogs in the submarine, and we're we're. Submerged under that polecat. So the polecat probably is not amphibious, so it's in some kind of a craft. So what kind of a craft is the polecat in? A flying saucer. Okay, the polecat is in a flying saucer. Now that really very accurately represents the situation. Why is Snowy Dog uh, failing? Well, it's because of the lack of technology. I, I hate to say it, but Odiferous Cat is beating you, hands down, uh, with their kind of flying saucer level technology. So that's one thing. So I'm going to say, Let's put this up top of the page. If someone could just jump up into the mission, uh, let's put the word uh, technology or some uh, <laughs> parallel thing, some 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 version of that concept. Because I think you're absolutely just right on. Uh, transistors. <laughs> okay, so transistors. So we need we need transistors. Uh, and I'm thinking really. I mean, again, I don't know too much about technology, but I'm thinking that what we need to really Get our submarine under uh, the pole cat is really big transistors, right? We want, we want the very large, uh, capable transistors. Okay, so we're going to uh, undermine. Underline. Underline. We're going to undermine. <laughs> underline the pole cat with our. With our big transistors. Transistors. transistors there, oh, there we go. Yeah, we need to be. We need to be gender friendly. Okay. Okay. So somebody, can somebody get that in there? Okay. So here's some of our uh, proprietary software kind of going. On. Bob, let's, uh, uh, let's take a look at the page. Yeah, uh, we can. It's pretty much how it looks like all the time we do this thing. 
yes. Okay. Well, we're getting. I, I appreciate the comments here, but we're getting some comments. Um, try, try to go for a quantity rather than quality. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we may want to turn that on its head, but but I but I agree with the spirit of what Bob is saying. Uh, yeah, I know the language isn't there yet. I, I appreciate the comments that are coming in in red, and I appreciate uh, whoever turned it all into red <laughs> because it's a uh, you know we're in a kind of a bloody uh, a bloody fight here with the pole cam uh, right now, and, and we're really uh, you know wanting to. Do it. So let, let's see what we got. So the mission impossible is smelling well, and impossible is a little harsh. Well, I mean, sure, sure. Uh, smelling likes to conquer the pole cat. Yes, okay. And it's the pole cat of um, well, quite honestly, superior management and technology. I think is what they have, right? I mean, would you say? Uh, I mean, again, not to Chris, but nobody is. is it, have, let's just get back to to your managers. But you know, the the room is sealed. Um, actually, uh, Sarah is, is actually appointed to keep us in uh, here. So just so you between know. the mission and the vision statement, exactly. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's a great time to tackle it. Um, the mission is kind of where you want Smelly uh, Dog International to be dreaming and kind of heading. Lord. And then the, the, the vision is, is sort of a picture of what's going to be happening in the future um, when, when the mission is, well, um, okay, I don't know, Bob, do you want to, do you want to, like, um, do you want to add, add, like, mission, vision, just, just be quick, I'm, I'm right, right, right. right. The, the vision is the articulation of the mission that has been missed by the mission. So just make sure <laughs> that, again, if, if we feel that unless you envision the goals that you have, you won't know how long you think. So, I mean, again, it's like there's a distance in between the actuality and the, the imaginality. Yeah, and ima imaginality is truly the key, people. It's like imaginality is what is going to get us into that submarine. A race of periscope. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, let's get that in. Please, someone get that in. So, like, let, let's raise the periscope. And uh, in terms of the industry, that means I'm thinking better fragrance, right? Like, are there any of the fragrance people here tonight? We have fragrance people? Okay, well, that's a three point, so we can say it uh, openly. Now, I think we. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, the alliance with Old Spice was, was the best thing. What? What was that? Oh, you want to turn So strict on the race. Okay. There we go. She wants a different raise. Yeah, I, I'd like a raise myself. Okay, so. I don't think that goes in the vision part. We need. Like well, you go in the vision. Well, wait a minute. No, I'm thinking, no, I'm sorry. That goes in the, that's in the, that's in the mission. Excuse me. No, I it's like what's in the question. Okay, but, uh, so now, <laughs> I, I think we, the, the animal, the animal metaphor has gotten us into a, some great territory, but I think we're really, uh, we need a little extra dimension, something that's a little bit more concrete, a little bit kind of down to earth. Uh, so I want to put this out, and, and we can start down in the brainstorming area, and then we can move the phrases up into the mission and vision as they as they uh, start to uh, get more uh, hope esque, and that is uh, to say, your company, Smelly Dog International. What Lord of the Rings character are you? <laughs> so just let's get that in there. So. We've got the, uh, we're in our submarine. Who are we? Who are we? Let's see, let's see what we got. Tom Bombadil. <laughs> a barbier, obviously. Barbier, I have a good, who, yeah. who the first name? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the third. It's from the, from the fourth book. Well, I only read fourth the first two, so yeah. um, we can say Harry Potter. I think so. Um, Radical turn. And bomb, Bombardier, what was it, the Bombardier? <laughs> uh, okay, and then. So, as we, uh, as we deal with that polecat, mm -hmm. as our Lord of the Rings character, mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what kind of attitude and, and tactics and strategy? We have to make polecat into polecant. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that goes right into the vision. That goes right into the vision. We have a visionary. What's your name, young man? Sam. Sam, Sam the visionary. Good. And uh, which department of uh, uh, Smelly Dog International you work for? Uh, odor Relief. Odor Relief. <laughs> that is actually one of the strengths. Anybody else from Odor Relief? 
Okay, yeah. yeah. I've, uh, I've been known to participate in the fire. What? Yeah. Marginalia. Marginalia. Okay, good. We're doing that. So, or release division. That's one of that's one of our strengths. So now, one of the things that really hasn't happened yet. I mean, I think we should spend as much time wordsmithing as possible. Because <laughs> yeah, and, it's, and simultaneously, if we can. Right. So you know, I mean, so, I mean yeah, one of the things I think that's really important in yeah. stages like this is to you know revert the document whenever we can. It's <laughs> <laughs> arbitrarily. <laughs> no, no, one of our one of the things that comes out of the brainstorming method is that there was some idea that came up, I don't know, at eleven fifty seven AM, whatever that was. Whatever your day that was. Uh, Bob, or should we want to uh, start reverting now? Uh, I've already reverted clearly. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I think if someone else maybe um I'm getting a little tired, but uh, if someone else could maybe get yeah, tired revert his name. Right. Right. So, um, we'll see where we where we are here. So, what do we got? Oh, we got uh, five minutes, folks. Five minutes. We're on the we're on the uh, final approach. So now's the time to uh, to start cutting a little bit. And uh, how many of the managers? I know about half of you in the room are managers. I like the managers at this point because of the extra um, uh, trust that the company has, has placed in you. I'd like you to begin making some comments off to the side. Just highlight some things and uh, <laughs> make some comments, because we'd like to include you. We promised as part of our contract that we would include your comments. Uh, <laughs> we'll have four and a half minutes to go, but I think technically that will get us a bit more. It'll feel like It'll four hours. Accomplish our... <laughs> So I see some images coming in, that's good. We are in uh, the age of design. Yes, it's looking fine. Okay, remember that, uh, remember, you know, everything all your English teachers, all your English teachers told you about uh, writing and, and being compact. Three minutes. And, uh, and uh, writing, just throw that all out the window because uh, we're working under some pressure here, folks. I really want to get paid. <laughs> My kids got orthodontia coming up then. All right, and I would like to just uh, encourage you further. Uh, if you, if there's something that you that you deeply believe in, because we are, you know, at Smelly Dog International. Uh, just from the look of the folks in this room, I'm going to say that that uh, we really are about passion. There's a passion for what we do. There's a there's an enthusiasm, and that, that there's no better way to express that passion uh, than by using all capital letters. <laughs> those old Roman letters, those old carved Roman letters, they they really say it. Right. Uh, the way uh, they say it, they don't spray it. You can uh, forget spaces too if you'd like. Yeah, you want to go all into Greek? That'd be fine, really, at this point. So we've got about. Uh, <coughs> The manager's more eyeball this talk. A little under two yeah. minutes to go. We pretty much give them an executive summary. <laughs> yeah. So and remember, uh, by being in this room, we have sort of a list of the people who are in this room. Uh, you're going to be held to this. Basically, your next performance review, you're going to be measured against the uh, yardstick that you're creating here tonight, or the meter stick. Uh, Our time is also a camera that is recording got, things. Got about we we minute, have about one minute left. Yeah. Got about a minute to go. So I want, want to make sure as you're rereading this and thinking about it that you've got something that, that you really um, can, protect, or can uh, believe in uh, as, you, uh, as you, you march forward into near uh, certain layoffs by something. Well, I'm not supposed to know that, but you know, we're all, we're all friends now. You know, we've, we've come through the the battle of, of the statement together. We have about uh, 20 seconds left. Yes, 20 seconds. All right, coming down to it. I'm really proud of you, people. You should really uh, should be really feeling good about your efforts and uh, pretty confident about your jobs. And uh, I think we've got something that we can that we can really live with. And we're at the point where we're calling it close. Last chance, three, two, one. Now, okay, hands off. Hands off the machines. Hands off the machines. Take a breath. And give yourself a big round of applause. Look how awesome you are.
no changes and emendations uh, from this point forward. But I'd like you to gingerly scroll back to the top of the document. And uh, we're going to read it together. Here's how we're going to do it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Bob and I are going to alternate the, uh, the uh, caps and lowercase text, but follow along in your text. But when, we come, when we come to the capital letters, when we come to, to statements that are in all caps, I want us to read those all together and passionately. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right, so make it make it Smell the Dog International. Okay. The missile command statement. Wait, my, I don't even know. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. wait, let's take, let's take a breath. This is the ceremonial read through. No turning back. Just stand. Uh, I know you they better stay seated, I think, but stand in your hearts. <laughs> this language just does not work for me yet. TP, colon, court, bit, whatever. This language just, I had a very, and I'd like you to help us out too. When we come to sections that are uh, have an overstrike on it, I'd like us to just all hum. That's the, that's the, I don't know what you know, but that's the audio, audio version of the home strike. So let's, let's practice it. I'm going to just read the sense, but let's, let's hear that hum. Just a very gentle hum. I had a very, very long day today. The X, the color copy machine, loser phone in, does not work for me yet. Okay, beautiful. Again, when, when we're not on, when we're not, when we're not over stricken, we don't hum. Okay, take this next paragraph <clears throat> The language just does know I had a very, very long day today. The X, don't get too attached to the language in the middle. It's more for visual impact. We really just need to stack up some sentences. They do not have to be in English. The color copy machine, cluster folk and Des Moines. Uh, I'll, I've had it. I just had it work for, for me yet. Lee, the missile command yeah. statement. Are you a cadaver, Bree? I had a, oh, that's you, Bree. I had a very, very long day today. The X and the Co. Don't get too attached to the language of the It's more for visual impact. We really just need to stack up the senses. They don't even have to be in English for their copy machine. Plus, if I've been more, I've had it. I'm liking the repetition, folks. I'm liking the repetition. Yeah, yeah, but this language just does not work. Okay, but, yes. are we, here we go. Here we go. Sorry. Everybody take a deep breath. In your yeah. yeah. this language does not work for me yet. yet. Your lips says, Superman, I have a very long, very long day. Don't get too attached to the language it's in the middle. It's more for visual impact. You really just need to stack up some senses. They don't even have to be in English. Today, yes, the color copy machine. Plus, the frog command to the point of balance and the added is where you want a dog to be raised and plus go be free. Better fragrance, be in the house, don't get too attached. The language in the middle, it's more for visual impact. You really just need to step up to the center. They do know. We need more synergy with the odor and the dog and the connectedness between odor and dog. I like the dog. This language just does not work for me yet. Amen. Bring it out. This is it. I had a very, very long day today. We had the color copy machine. Pleasure call it in the mind. I had it in hand. I just had it. Age does not work for me yet. Your business. This was a man. I had a very, very long day. Don't get too attentive. Important. Okay, one, two, three. Important. No downsizing. From pole cat to pole cant. Odor release, the macular degeneration, marginalia in the house. We need to quantify just how smelly we are. Like a light 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 on a hot day. All right. Excellent work, everybody. Alterations, communications, documents throughout the conference. Thank you very much. <laughs>